You know, as we begin to think about goals and dreams, given my circumstances, born in an abandoned building on a floor, being adopted, being labeled educable, mentally retarded, failing twice in school, no college training, never worked for a major corporation, to believe that I had something of value. Have you ever thought about something you wanted to do and you talk yourself out of it? It's very important to realize that I, I found that most people fail in life, not because they aim too high and miss, most people fail in life because they did just like I did for so many years. They aimed too low and hit. They didn't believe in themselves. So I want you right now to revisit and look at your goals and dreams and let's raise the bar. And I want you to say with me, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. I can do this. I can make this happen. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going. Yes, your dream is possible. Say that to yourself every day. Feed your mind with words that you write and words that you hear and words that you speak to yourself. Feed your faith and your doubts will starve to death. Say to yourself, it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Even when you have no evidence to point to, say to yourself, it's possible. There's nothing as powerful as a made-up mind. It's a struggle sometimes to do that, especially when you have people around you telling you that it's not possible, that you can't do it. And they're constantly pointing out your failures of the past, constantly reminding you of all of the things that you don't have going for you. I'm reminded of the story of the two little boys that were playing on, on some ice during the winter. And, and, and as they got further out on this ice, one fell through the, the thin ice. And, and so the little fellow that was still on top of the, the ice, he was trying to save his, his little buddy. And he couldn't reach him, he was trying to pull him. He could see him through the thin ice as he got further away from him, struggling. And, and he couldn't reach him, and he was trying to break the ice, and he couldn't do it. He looked around, and he saw a tree in the distance, and he ran. And then he got up on the tree, and, 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 and he pulled and broke down an enormous sized branch, and came back and, and savagely began to beat that ice, and broke it. And, and miraculously, he saved his friend. And when the paramedics came, and they were able to revive this little boy, they were scratching their heads, they're trying to figure this out, said, how, how could this little pruny fellow go up in a tree and break off a branch this size and then come back and beat and break the ice and save his friend? They thought it was just miraculous, it was baffling. And an old guy who was there said, I can tell you how he did it. And they said, how? How did he do it? And he said, there was no one here to tell him that he couldn't do it.